Okay, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for RC Hibbler's Engineering and Mechanics Statics textbook. So we have this problem from chapter two of the textbook, uh, which is asking, determine the angle theta between the force and the line AO. Um, so we're being asked here to determine the angle between two vectors. Um, upon, upon a quick Google search, you can find out that if you want to determine uh, the angle between two vectors, you can make use of two concepts here, uh, which some of you might already be familiar with. First is this idea of the dot product, where the dot product is kind of the sum of the respective products of the x, y, and z components of, of the two vectors that you're trying to find the angle up, uh, that you're finding the dot product of. Um, and the second concept here is this dot product angle formula, uh, where we can say that the cos of the angle between two vectors uh, is equal to its dot product over the product of their magnitudes. Uh, so, uh, and naturally, um, these kind of, these two concepts, um, they, they link to each other in, in the concept of this problem, because after determining the dot product, naturally we can substitute it in to this dot product angle formula idea. Let's go ahead and solve this problem then. So uh, let's first determine, looks like we need to determine the x, y, and z components of each of uh, our vectors. We have them for force F, we don't have them for AO, but we can, we can determine them from the diagram. So uh, AOX here is evidently equal to minus one. Uh, AOY here is going to be equal to two. And AOZ here is going to be equal to minus two. Uh, okay, so if we want to find the dot product of these two vectors, it might look something like this. So uh, F dot AO, here we've got um, minus six times minus one plus uh, two times nine plus uh, minus two times three, which when we bung in our calculator, um, we get a value of 18. Okay, uh, to so we've got the dot product here, it looks like to kind of uh, fulfill the requirements of this dot product angle formula, we also need the magnitudes. So we can say the magnitude of AO, that's going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared, uh, which is going to be the square root of 9, which is 3. And the uh, magnitude of F, uh, that's going to be uh, the square root of 6 plus uh, 6 squared plus 9 squared plus 3 squared which when we bung in our calculator, we find is equal to three root 14. Okay, so it looks like we have all the kind of uh, things that we need to uh, substitute in for our uh, uh, dot product angle formula here. So we can take the inverse cos of both sides of that formula. Uh, we can have theta be equal to the inverse cos of 18 over uh, 3 times uh, 3 root 14, which again, when we uh, substitute into our calculator, we, we get a, a value of 57.7 .7 degrees, which is our solution for theta here. If you have any questions or comments about that problem, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.